release dates for future Galaxy products get rumored, LG schedules an event for May 30th and it's got a G written all over it. And Nokia's 41 megapixel EOS smartphone is rumored for May 14th. I'm Jaime Rivera, and just think about it. If my cheeks look this big on 18 megapixels, how big are they going to look on 41 megapixels? This is Pocketnow Daily. Let's start today off with some interesting news. Apple is never the company to allow third-party applications to become default services, meaning if you're an email and you click on any link, you'll be taken to Safari whether you like it or not. But Google is now porting some new services to developers, which allows them to select Chrome as a default browser for whenever they want to navigate on Chrome and not on Safari. We just wish that Chrome was actually better than Safari on iOS, which is sadly not the case, but hey, it's a step going forward. Now let's continue talking about LG. The company has been reluctant to bring us any tablets for the longest time. They've been rumored for months and pretty much years, but now we've got some new, more credible reports that apparently the company is building tablets to be launched in the third quarter of this year. The question is, what's gonna be great about these tablets? But on the second note, we've also got a new present invite for May 30th to an LG event where they have a G written all over it. So this could probably be the Optimus G2 event to happen, and well, let's just stay tuned. I I mean, the recent leaks for the phone are actually quite cool. Now let's continue talking about HTC, Facebook, and AT&T as their first collaboration is now dropping in price. It used to cost $100 after a two-year contract, and now it's just going to cost you a buck after a two-year contract. And it just begs to wonder, has the phone actually sold or not? Leave us a comment down below. Have you bought the phone? Have you seen it on the streets? It seems that the phone hasn't really sold much. And well, when you think about it, $100 is kind of steep for a mid-tiered phone. And let's continue talking about some Galaxy phones for all three of you out there that want the Galaxy Mega Super Jumbo Monstrous ugly mid-tiered and crappy phones well they're going to be available in europe apparently by the end of this week probably by early next week so uh don't stay tuned but other than that we've heard about the samsung galaxy s4 zoom yesterday you know that apparent camera phone you know meaning a camera that's actually a phone and apparently it will be launched in the first week of june and on other notes we've also got the samsung galaxy s4 active which is that waterproof version of the galaxy s4 along with the s4 mini apparently launching in mid-july so if you're waiting for any of these except for the galaxy s you know the mega thing that i'm not even going to recommend well stay tuned and finally, for the interesting news of the day, we all know that Nokia has a May 14th event to be held in London to launch their apparent aluminum catwalk smartphone. But according to Digitimes, this phone is actually the EOS 41 megapixel camera smartphone that we've been waiting for. And we did see some leaked photos of a huge lens on an aluminum chassis. But we've also reviewed the 808 PureView smartphone camera. And for those of you that are wondering if 41 megapixels are actually worth it, well, for lossless digital zoom, they actually are zooming on camera phones is terrible except on the 808 PureView so that leads me to the question of the day are you waiting for Nokia's May 14th event to decide on what you're gonna buy this spring or have you already got your HTC one or Galaxy S4 in full honesty I'm actually waiting for the event to see what they bring but leave us a comment down below what's your next pick are you waiting for the Nokia event and of course, for an earlier scoop of everything that's happening in the smartphone and tablet world, make sure you follow us on Pocketnow.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow me on Twitter at Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.